Are we alone in the universe? It's a question that drives a lot of scientific investigation and provokes a lot of controversy. If we are the only living things, what does that mean about the origins of life? If we're not, what could other life forms be like? And what will that mean for our future of space travel? The astronomer Frank Drake created a famous equation as a thought exercise about alien life. The Drake equation uses best guesses about the likelihood of events which may support the creation of life, like the formation of planets roughly the same proximity to a nearby star as the Earth is to the Sun, to estimate how many alien civilizations capable of communication might exist in our galaxy. It's not meant to give a perfectly accurate number, but guide our search for extraterrestrial intelligence, making us think about signs that we should be looking for. However, when you put certain reasonable estimates into the equation, it suggests that our galaxy should be teeming with intelligent life. So where is it? This objection to the Drake equation is called the Fermi Paradox. If life is so likely, we should have detected it by now. There are many theories to explain why this isn't the case, including the idea that a civilization is likely to develop technology that destroys its home planet before it achieves interstellar travel or that there are alien civilizations out there, but they're not broadcasting on frequencies we monitor or noticeable in ways that we have thought to observe. Whatever you believe about intelligent life, most scientists now agree that very simple life forms probably exist outside the biosphere of planet Earth, and they may be closer than we once thought. Recent investigations have discovered that Venus, a planet long thought inhospitable to all life, has certain gases in its atmosphere which we have only ever seen before as the byproduct of biological processes. This suggests that Venus may once have been the home of bacteria that produced these gases in the distant past. Meanwhile, NASA's research into the Martian environment have shown that millions of years ago the planet was likely much more suited to hosting life and samples of sediment from the Martian surface have shown many signs of complex organic compounds that may suggest life was once present. The soil on the surface of Mars is now completely irradiated, but some scientists believe that beneath the surface, microbial life could still be present today. If life has existed beyond the Earth in our solar system's distant past, this may even give some clues to the origins of life on Earth itself. The theory of panspermia posits that the building blocks of life could have arrived on Earth on meteorites falling from space, and that life as we know it may have originated off-world. If this is the case, then we may all be alien visitors to planet Earth. For more information about the topics in this video, check out the links in the description. Subscribe to learn more about our research into the theory of panspermia, and check out our channel for more incredible videos about our planet and the space beyond it.